Hi folks, Modelling Mark here again. I'm sure a few of you will have seen my previous video where I had a problem with evapor rust them etching the flywheel where it wasn't fully submerged. Um, that video did very well, lots of views, lots of comments, so thank you all for that. As I described in the previous video, the etching was probably about five, somewhere between five and ten thou deep. Too, too deep to sand off and too deep to ignore. But it's not that deep and it just needs the flywheel giving a quick skim on the lathe. And here's how I recovered it. I chucked a bit of steel bar in the three-jaw chuck, then turned the spigot down so it was a very close fit on the flywheel's bore, and finally threaded the end so I could uh, put a nut on and hold it firm. With this spigot machined in place, I can be sure it's perfectly true, so when I skim the flywheel, I can be sure that the flywheel will also be running true. With the flywheel chucked, you can now see some of the etched lines. There's a, quite a light one running from right to left. There's the deeper one running from left to right. That one was probably the deepest. And there's another faint one there. It's not showing up particularly well on the video. The first pass was just two or three thou deep. The lightest cutter I could do just to make sure that the flywheel was running true and to see how deep the etched lines were. As you can see it's taken a nice even cut all the way around the flywheel so the flywheel is running true. And you can see that it's missing a little bit off the edges which is obviously where I sanded the edges over a little bit where I tried sanding out the etch lines. Okay, there's still an unmachined bit round the edge and there's still some of the lines that are visible so I do need to take another pass. And the second pass will be five out. Yeah, that's looking good now. It's taken a thin skim all the way across the rim of the flywheel and there's no sign of any of the etched lines now. And just for those who thought it was a crack, definitely no sign of a crack. Most definitely was not cracked. Anyway, happy with that. So now we'll move on to sorting out the sides of the rim. Again, the first pass is just a light skim because we want to take the minimum amount of material off the flywheel.
No, you can see the mark is still there and it's still actually quite deep. I need another pass which if I remember rightly I did about six or seven thou. Yep, that pass has finally got rid of all the marks. I'm now left with a pristine side of the flywheel. Happy with that. Now I can take the flywheel off, turn it round and remount it so I can get the last face. After the first pass there's still a light mark just visible, so again a second pass is needed. I think I took maybe seven or eight thou off each face of the flywheel, certainly less than ten thou. After that last pass, all the marks are gone and the flywheel is good again. And now we've got the finished flywheel. We've got a nice finish all the way around the edge. No blemishes left. Definitely no cracks. The, that's a, now looking like a respectable flywheel. All I need to do is clean it and give it another coat of paint and it will be perfect. I hope you all found that interesting. 
Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time.